Welcome to today's Divine Light Healing Circle. Today, we are wanting to focus on supporting people who are depressed and feeling hopeless, as well as cleansing the earth from all this aggravational energy of warring and discomfort through a growth process, so-called growing pains, which we are as humanoids going on and through this planet. Not only humans, also animals are affected by our behaviors um, as a humanoid race. So we want to clear and cleanse the impact of the human growing pains on Mother Earth. And for this purpose, I'm calling in now the divine light, connecting to the divine, the divinity per se, God source, the prime creator. You can fill in the blanks what the divine light or divinity means for you. But we call in from the highest source, from the universal oneness, the frequency of the white light with white silver sparklers and diamond light, which is supposed to remove right now all obstacles which try to hinder this cleansing and clearing, as I can feel already resistance coming in through my faltering words. White silver light flows in and reflects all negativity back on itself in this moment, in this minute, in this second, so that we can do our work easily and naturally. I'm asking now all light beings, guiding ones of the divine to flow forward and shield and create a protective circle around us. As also a protective circle is created through the influx in our bodies by the white shimmering, sparkling divine light of diamond reflective and shimmering in many different colors all the rainbow colors, but predominantly white and silver and partially translucent shimmering. As we bring that in through our head into every single cell of our brain, eyes, nose, mouth, throat, neck, shoulders, arms, hands, fingertips, along the spine and muscle structure, into the heart and chest opening both wide, into the solar plexus to make it more radiant, into the whole digestive system, hips, legs, knees, calves, feet, and through the feet into the ground like roots. All old disturbances or energies which try to hinder things to be done can be swept away into Mother Earth for recycling and also being absorbed, transmuted, and transformed there in co work with Mother Earth. Co creation is the key of the future on our planet. And as we're bringing in this white silver sparkling multicolored light from our heart into our aura, it smooths over all energies which are not conducive and hooked in into our energy field or fill in holes of our energy field. And from the core, we expanding our aura quite nicely with every single breath and our aura builds a protective shield around our body and organs so that can we free flow the energy of the divine. Free flowing energy is the key for us right now to be the vessel of the highest order and the highest purpose. And as we're bringing in forward this slide and anchoring it into the brilliance of core of Mother Earth with the crystalline structures and the core center crystals of Mother Earth's heart structure. We also get a cleansing and clearing ourselves so that we can be a cleansed and clear vessel to do the work we are about to begin. 
while we are breathing in and breathing out, a reflective silver bubble builds around us on our outer rim of our aura, not allowing any interference. And also along the channel we have to the divine, this reflective light is flowing alongside that channel on the outer rim that no influences can partake and go against our work. As again, I'm calling in all light beings and guiding ones and beingness of other planetary systems and the divine who would like to be of assistance in balancing out people who are in despair, balancing out people who are in depression and balancing out dark energies and expelling them from this planet. And for that purpose, we are bringing on now the ember sparkling light. The ember sparkling light, which has been with us working for a while now. It is a orangey, lighter color, translucent, with a lot of specks and sparkling dancing in it like dust modes in all different colors. I often compare it also with Velo Opal Light. We could also say Mexican Opal Light, or one could say Ethiopian Opal. Whatever opalescent, orangey, yellow, sparkling light comes to mind as a comparison, that is wonderful, fine. It just gives you something to focus your mind on in regards to the vibration we are bringing in right now, as this vibration will close the ethereal gap where shock experiences have been ripping our aura apart. So we're bringing in this sparkling light of this amber sparkling healing through our own energy field, through our aura. It doesn't even go only within, it just goes right away into our auric system as well, as if we are standing in a waterfall of this wonderful orangey, yellow, sparkling, translucent light, cleansing and clearing and enlivening all areas in our aura and in our body, which need to be energized to do our work as it flows in a bright beam of color into Mother Earth and a bright beam of light and living also with a sparkling beam within Mother Earth and transforming and transmuting darkness or toxins or poison no matter whether it's from plastic or chemicals. As the amber light and the white crystalline diamond light work together, they are transmuting and transforming chemical toxins and energy toxins, thought toxins within Mother Earth. And Mother Earth can kind of like burp them out into the cosmos where it can be further expelled and transmuted and transformed by beings of higher order. All that energy which Mother Earth cannot handle, she can expel right now in this white beam, sparkling beam, silver beam, and amber beam of light working intertwined with each other to cleanse and clear and detox our bodies and Mother Earth's body. And it flows into the atmosphere around us being cleansed and cleared by a lot of beings who are watching Earth and being on standby while we are helping here anchoring these frequencies. 
and one or more energy wants to come in and it's a light purplish bluish fuchsia mixture of light i call it the tensonite light this purplish bluish fuchsia light dances in and around us through us like in spirals it transmutes and transforms anything and everything which is in hiding any kind of holes where dark-sided beings would like to have their claws in can be transmuted and transformed and healed right now. And I'm sending this light not just through us, but also through all the clients who asked for healing. It's like a whirlwind of little spirals going out from the central throne from the divine light from the divine core into all the ones on our list for healing that all that which could hold people back can be dismantled by this transformatory tensonite light It is a, like a little worm is in a spiral, seeking out and eating up all that which has been burrowed deep down in our energy systems. And it's gobbling it up and transmuting it into more power for the Tanzanite light beam. And these little wiggle worms go also into Mother Earth further eating up toxins, toxic thought forms from humans on the planet, toxic energy waste from chemicals and toxicity per se. And they will continue to do their work while we're doing ours. I call in now the frequency for the people who have given up hope. I'm not talking the frequency of people who have a contract to transit from this planet, but people who want to stay here, but still live in hopelessness, in kind of a limbo zone, in kind of a gray zone. And for that, wants to come in a dark, dark, midnight blue frequency, which has many myriads of gold sparkles and silver sparkles in it. And it's coming from the universal oneness in clouds. It settles onto the planet calming nervous systems, soothing nervous systems, and the golden little flecks and sparkles in it activate the belief structure into the divine. This deep, deep blue reminds us of the depths of looking into the night sky this myriad of sparkling energies in it like stars, reactivating conscious awareness of the divine in these people all over the planet. As we are thinking about it, it is already so. It settles gently, easily and naturally along the globe. And one of more predominant light sparks ignite back the awareness into the hypothalamus, into the core center of our brain, into the eye of Horus and these individuals, making them understand that we are eternal soul having a human experience and igniting that knowledge slowly and steadily so that in all hopelessness they can feel safe and secure 
that there's something bigger than themselves and something bigger than their immediate environment, which lets them be believing again in something higher, a higher power, even if it's not immediate, even it's not felt right now. And any kind of manipulation which has been done to those individuals which lost all hope can be removed right now by the spark wandering from the third eye into the center of the heart and specifically popping open the back door of the heart, the back chakra of the heart. And with this cork popping open the back chakra of the heart, allowing positive influence in. And this golden light spark is the guardian of it. It will be working as a filter so that no manipulation can be done ever to these beings, that they are in awareness. And when they need another ignition in their awareness of their multidimensional existence of the divine, another soul spark will set and ignite the flame of their divinity within them. So we're having two major sparks, one in the center of the brain, keeping their soul flame alive in the body against all odds of outer circumstance. And also the flame which works as a guardian in the back door of their heart so that no manipulation can happen. And in each and all of these individuals which lost hope, they can feel their divine wings, they can feel their divine power, they can feel the expansion where they cower down into invisibility, where they feel immobile, to stand strong and spread their wings. Necessarily not to escape this earth, but to be at the right place at the right time in the divine order of their need to be here and to make a difference in time and space. So many people who have been degraded as useless, powerless, worthless, belong into this category. And I want to therefore now to address all the people who are homeless, being labeled useless and sending them the same sparks of light out of this divine network of the dark blue starry sky settling gently still in places on this earth. Every one of these beings is reminded of who they really are too, of ethics and purpose. And so these flames of these people who former were hopeless or homeless, will ignite positive sparks now in their environment, helping each other and creating a network. People who have felt hopeless, creating groups, networking groups. People who feel inclined to work those who are hopeless, connect with those and are found and get enough energy in their every day to help these hopeless people. so that everybody can fly like birds, being lighthearted and uplifted. Like the birds, analogy in the Bible, they don't sow, but they reap on the fields. And they can feel taken care of, and they can feel safe. And this theme of safety, 
on this planet to make this planet a safe place, a safe space is our next target. As we are asking now to bring in the divine light to make this planet a safe space to live. And for that, I'm feeling and sensing and seeing a figure eight emerging of golden light. And Mother Earth is the center of this figure eight. And we as belly soldiers bring in the divine lights from above and feeding this golden figure eight. And as we bring into the center of Mother Earth, this light, we can call it rainbow light. We can call it out of this world light. I have no words to describe this light, this influx of high vibrational light, which is coming in, but it's brought in to the core center of the earth. And then it's flowing in and the darkness flows out and it's transformed on the outside and it's going bad in and always infused from above. From above comes in the generous high vibration of a new order of safety and security, a new order but not the new world order of politicians, more the new world order of the divine agenda. And so these frequencies of whatever you might see, these outer worldly frequencies are flowing into the core and then in a swoop out and in and out and into Mother Earth and cleansing and clearing and transmuting and transforming all that which is not conducive for us on this planet and also for Mother Earth. Again, toxic sword forms, chemical toxicities in our earth, in our food, in our bodies and anything toxic created And as we are feeling the stream going in and out from above and out into the below and into the cosmos to be recycled, to become stardust again and repurposed into something completely different. Atoms and small particles can be repurposed to something non-toxic in our galaxy. And I'm seeing a lot of white light, various shades of pink, various shades of light blue, various shades of green for a new path, a new way in this new space. Lots of shades of different purples and shades I could not describe by name, outerworldly, translucent, sparkling, metallic, so many different ones. And as we are bringing in this light, which is high vibration and very subtle in a way, not harsh and strong, but comforting to the individuals on this planet. It also brings hope. And not only hope, it brings in and rings in a new consciousness, a new awareness. And this new awareness lets Mother Earth flow like on a river. And even though sometimes 
there are white waters which seem to bounce our planet from right to left and up to down. We are still drifting in the divine order. Never forget that. The divine has a bigger plan than we know on this planet as we are just the experiencers of that divine plan. But we are also the co-creators. We can steer our boat, our planet Earth, through the white waters into calm and smooth waters by doing energy work. Every single one of you who comes up with an idea how to make this transit more smooth and steer away from catastrophic overturn of the white waters through dramas and wars and more division and transform it and transmute it into more togetherness and cooperation for the sense of a higher order is welcome to try out and see the results. This is a time where new ideas will bring new fruit on this planet. This is a time of hybrid ideas. This is a time of working together. This is a time of not leaving people alone, isolated, but sending out from heart to heart, like a hopping spark from your heart to the next person's heart to the next person's heart, glistening, illuminating light. For that purpose, I'm supposed to call in just sparkling light of the color you resonate with. And that sparkling light goes through you and lives you in all aspects of your being, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. It's almost like Myriads of stars are falling into you, bringing new energies with them, bringing new ideas with them, bringing new hope and sense of safety within the divine plan with them. And as the sparkling influx flows through you and fills your aura, and fills through your feet also Mother Earth, you cannot hold it any longer and it overflows from your heart into your room and into the people of your household and into the people of your city and into the people of your country. And it's self-perpetuating, expanding, on this, on this planet, like a positive plague, like a positive endemic, imbuing everybody with the sensation of newness, sparkling light of the divine. There is no more room for hopelessness in this new world order. There is no more room for not having time to pursue inspiration and creativity. There's no more room for the red race. There's no more room for the disrespect on this planet. All that will be expelled with the next few years. And as horrific as it seems right now when we're looking at warring regions and what cruelties have been done, Every single of your thoughts creates form. And as we are networking on this new sparkling light to come and bringing an influx of new high order ideas, it makes it so. The more we focus with every single thought on the new order 
of the divine light order. It will make it so. The more you focus on the drama and the hatred and the cruelties on this planet, the more emphasis it gives to the entities which feed off it. So please focus on that new order. Do not let yourself being deterred by thoughts of, oh, this is never gonna happen because it will happen as it is ordained so. And you can believe us when we are saying that this is already so on a higher octave of existence. This process which planet Earth is undergoing right now has been undergone by Venus. When Mars intruders tried to bring people of Venus down, Venus had no choice to excel to a higher order of existence and to which it is still working and operating from today. And with that, beloved beings on this planet, we are going to help you now to ring in the new world order of love and kindness, security, safety, and new inspiration. And for this, we invite you to think about if you wouldn't have to be in the red race, what would you do in this planet? What would you create on this planet? Not necessarily destructive, what would you rip down? That's not what we are asking you to do, but think about creation, think about co-creation right now. Take a moment to hold your best thought in your mind of what would you do if you do not have to be in the red race? What would you like to explore on Mother Earth? We are going to be silent for a moment so that you can follow your own inner imagery and hold this imagery for Mother Earth's sake. And we would like you now to choose one of the images which flooded you and multiply them. Like from one image, we duplicate it into two and three and four, and we spread them all around the planet, how happy we are in what we are doing. Maybe how conjoined we are with nature and frolicking with dolphins. Maybe how joyfully we travel and explore Mother Earth to its deepest with all its beauty. Maybe dancing and singing and merriment. Maybe having the time to listen to an elder. Many different things. So multiply your picture and let the multiplication of the picture cover Mother Earth. And then let this sink in like a, like a silk cloth, like a blanket. And all the goodness on this planet Earth is feeding off your envisionment right now. 
And as your envisionment sinks into the energy field of Mother Earth, there is a rejoicing and a welcoming to create your vision and make it so, so that you can experience that beauty, that joy, that limitlessness. As we're bringing in the limitlessness from the outer regions and upper regions into the 3D world, and you are the anchor for this process. And we would like you now to be grounded as we are bringing in more energies from the central sun. from the blue planetary worlds. Many beings can join this process. Arcturians, Pleiadians, Antarians, Alurans, many, many, to just name a few. And you're connecting right now to your highest soul self, to the planet where you were conscious and aware that you were an individualized being and working and living with other souls as a collective. and bringing down the collective awareness that everything is interconnected onto this planet. It again settles in like a silk cloth or a gentle field. Your channel of anchoring is widening right now beyond your conscious understanding. So give yourself over to the process of light flooding in, cleansing and clearing out you as a cup first, and then letting the cup overflow with this brilliance of the divine. You become the fountain of the divine light. Lots of beings of the Elohim joining in. Lots of angels joining in. Lots of beings of oneness joining in. Spirits of service animals are joining in. Spirits of service for the higher divine order are joining in. We are holding these energies for a few more moments. Please make sure again that you're grounded enough to receive the influx.
And we would like you to smile more at everything. Stupid comments of people, dramatic scenarios, not laughing it away, but laughing at it. And with your love, bringing in sunshine energy, bringing light into dark moments, laugh more. And so we're filling you right now with the frequency of laughter. That giggling energy, which comes out of nowhere. And that energy of uninhibited joy settles on this planet too. And this uninhibited joy fills our hearts and minds, not only our body. Our planet is like a tiny little speck in creation. But a beautiful one. And it's nicely embedded in our solar system. But there are so many galaxies and so many solar systems in existence. This tiny speck Earth will be undergoing intense transformatory stages, which seem really like a rough ride to many. However, be assured that nobody will blow up this earth and that which is corrupt will be disappearing over time as a new world order is already rooted here and seeded. It cannot be stomped out. So many people awakening right now to their divine awareness and consciousness. This awakening will go. No, make, make no mistake. So many times Civilizations which could not hold peace have been wiped out, but they were always survivors, no matter what. This trying times are times where we have to take refuge in the divine and put our face to the sun like a flower, the sun of the divine light the sun of the everlasting glory of oneness and divinity. That consciousness which created it all has a plan and we are not victims to this plan. We are co-creators of this plan individually in our own life.
by doing this exercise we gave you and envisioning what you would do when you have no worries on this planet, that's something you should hold in your mind and maybe create yourself a symbol for that happening, for that activity, for that experience, whatever it might be, and put it firmly into your heart and mind. This will be your lifeline. Even though it seems the artificial reality will be so different. But you, the true reality is that you are eternal light of the divine and never lost. It just feels that way in the body or the emotional body or the mental body. There's no place you have to run to, but within. There's no place to better be than in the divine stream. In this particular case today, as we are standing in this strong stream, we are calling into a circle of recipients, all those people who have been asking for help and we have on the list. All these people now come together in a circle and getting a group healing by the divine. And as this massive energy is coming flow and through every single body of these beings who need help and support, it flows and flows through every single atom, through every single cell and energy field, a purification happens, old in, new, old out, new in, old out, new in. Old concepts can be let go of, concepts of dis-ease. To make room for the new concept of grace, healing and wholeness and oneness. As we are freed from the trappings of our own ideas of disease, they can fall away like loose bandages. In this group of beings who ask for help, help is given and received. I'm seeing all the receptive channels in our clients and members of the healing group are opening up to receive extraordinary help and influx of vibration. I'm seeing many, many different symbols and codes flooding in. Too many to name because there's so many people needing different things at this time. As this influx is continuously flooding, People from our healing list 
We are also bringing it in to the animals in need, abused animals, animals which we normally would eat and escaped that fate. Animals which have been mistreated in many different ways are welcome into our circle too. And also they are cleansed and cleared from their pain bodies. Pain bodies out, glorious energy in. Healing on cellular level is easily and naturally being fulfilled. And a miraculous new hope is filling the hearts of the animals too. Playfulness is here happening as well. Play and joy is key along the lines what is coming in for our future. Do not focus too much on the drama mongers, the predictions of doom and gloom. If you give those too much attention, you will experience such in your reality. You are in your reality strand. So make sure that you're allowing the divine to carry you. And again, put your face to the light by looking within and also pray. Give yourself permission to have a time in your busy day and praying for yourself, your family, and the people on this planet, including the animals as well. Prayer creates wavelengths of light and codes. And thus prayer works. Thought creates form and prayer is a thought. And depending on what is prayed to, it is getting the attention of that which you focus on. So when you focus with your prayer on the highest order of the divine, it will hear you. Source will hear you. The divine will hear you. And thus the spirits of dolphins want to bring in unlimited joy. So if you think of dolphin energy or receive dolphin messages at night, pay attention. If you envision a dolphin by chance or you are just closing your eyes and you see one nudging you gently or you swim with some, in the physical or in the inner realm, it doesn't make a difference. Dolphins at this moment want to expel unlimited joy, limitless joy. They're at this moment the transmitters of the core of the frequency of joy. Boundlessly so, there's enough of joy to go around for everyone. So invite the dolphins into your life as a space holders for the divine to nudge you into the right direction if you do not know where to go and how to go about it.
And now come in the owls, wanting to be a space holders for truth that you see through the layers of illusions to the core of truth, not the truth portrayed in newspapers, but the truth of the truth of the truth of the divine. The owls will make you see in the darkness of our existence right now. So when an owl appears in your inner or outer world, know that they guide you to truth, either about your circumstance or about your past. This influx or light, this influx of light will now be anchored in your bodies. It will be anchored in your heart space. And it will be anchored in both feet to walk with you wherever you go. And it will be anchored in Mother Earth, in the Earth Star under your feet. Symbolizing your co-creational work with Mother Earth. And it goes through there in the core center of Mother Earth. This frequency will make you untouchable to unruly energies happening on the planet. You will be protected along your path. You will be guided and you will be guarded. As guardians are space holders on your right and your left and before you and behind you holding your back safe so that you can do your light work as it's meant to be without interruption and further distortion. Note that distorting people which are not in congruence with their divine purpose are going through a detoxification process at this time. For that purpose, they need to see into the mirror of their own self. And many, many humans do not like what they see and trying to project onto you. Do not take on these projections, we are helping you to keep your energy field clean and clear with this influx of light. All those projections will be burned off in this light beam. This light beam is so strong that no dark force can permeate it, period.
in case you should feel a little bit out of this world at this time, that is okay. You will be kept in this out of the world perception for a while so that you are permeated on all levels with this frequency of the divine anchoring it in further no toxic energy of shadow work or no toxic energy of any kind projected or eliminated from others cannot touch you at this moment. You will be easily and naturally detecting that which is not yours, even in demanding clients or demanding beyond your capacity to fulfill others' demands. You are allowed to say, it is okay that I cannot do this for you right now because there is a purpose for you to look at this and that. Now that you will always be guided to be enough, to do enough, and to give enough. So do not fall for the trap of projection that you are not enough because you are. Because the divine is always enough and always has enough. And as you're seeing with your third eye and with the heart connection and your heart space, you will understand what words you need to say to these people when they're demanding the impossible. It will come to you easily by holding your space and maintaining your space and maintaining your smile and maintaining your joy and maintaining your light they will be transformed by burning off their darkness. Keep your face, light beings of this earth. You are the earth angels, which help many. Do not let this not enough ever occur into your mind or thoughts like little worms trying to create holes so that darker forces can tunnel in. This is not permitted anymore. And you will see a difference in the upcoming time where you will be able to clearly see that these demands of people onto you, which are unrealistic, are really so not real. And you will be able to point out what is real and what is not. Many beings will help you define the right words. And with that, we wish you farewell, even though we are always right beside you. you will stay in the stream of creation long-term. We assure you also the support of other co-creators in the galaxy. We have your back.
in this moment, you're receiving an upgrade. Please hold still. If it is a little much, don't forget to breathe. Inhale what we give and exhale out the old. With this gift, channeling will be easier for you every day. You are connected with the cosmic stream of knowledge. As you're bringing in your hands into the prayer pose or mudra, you're going to create a light bomb on this planet, creating ripples, affecting everything. Whenever you're ready, you bring your hands together and push the energy we give you as an overflow out. From now on, when you're using the prayer mudra, you will ignite a holy flame in your hands. This holy flame will be a touch of healing, but will also guide your thoughts to relevant prayer forms. Remember, we are always with you, always. <laughs> <laughs>